Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We're gonna watch Pokemon Rusty, the complete journey, every episode. No idea what this is. Top reward tier request from a man named Melvinix. Yeah, let's just go into it. Let's see what's in store for us today, pipes. Today's the day I become a Pokemon trainer. What? Absolutely not, Rusty. But Dad, it's my destiny. No, your destiny is to go to college and get a real job, mister. Your mother and I didn't bust our humps working so you could be some kind of professional pet owner. <sighs> Red's mom lets him be a trainer. Who is Red? Oh, uh, he's an awesome trainer from Pallet Town. I follow his Twitter. You're always going on about this Pallet Town. What's wrong with Bayes Town? We're not even on the map, Dad. I'm 10 years old. I'm an adult. I can go wherever I want. Legally, yes, that is true. But as long as you're living under my roof, Buster, you're going to stay here and help out with the deli. Now, deliver this chicken panini to the professor's house, then go to school. It's just down the block from... I know, Mom. It's literally the only other house in town. God. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Tree, you know a lot about Pokemon, right? Not really. Professor it was just the easiest grant to apply for. I got a monthly paycheck and a free lab. It's kind All of I gotta punk. do is count pages once growing in a while. Weed. Then I can spend the rest of my time growing pot. <laughs> Shouldn't have told you that. I'm pretty high. So you need someone to go out and study Pokemon for you. Uh, yeah. Awesome. I'll do it. <laughs> my journey begins. I'll take this Kakuna as my first Pokemon. Wow, you're good at this. I thought that was a paperweight. You and me, Kakuna, we're gonna catch them all. So long, Professor. Tell my parents I'm dead. Rusty, wait. You took my panini. <laughs> Whoa, two Pidgeys. A new record. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how Red's Pokemon journey is going. <laughs> Just aced a battle with my rival, Blue. <gasps> Gotta catch him all. Duh, of course, <laughs> I need a rival to drive me to be the very best. That's hey, kid, every hero must be my Pokemon rival? Yes, sure thing, mister. All right, battle time. I choose you, Pikachu. <gasps> uh, that's a Kakuna. Uh-huh, I know. I named it Pikachu. Pikachu favorite Pokemon. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, go, Rattata! Pikachu, use headbutt! Oh. No! We win! Great job, Pikachu! That's cheating! And that's not even a Pikachu! Ha! Classic rival move. Can't admit when he's defeated. We are not rivals anymore. I'm going home. <laughs> Coward! I guess that means it's just you and me, other guy. Oh my god, I don't want any trouble. Here! <laughs> Look at that, Pikachu. I've only been a Pokemon trainer for two days, and I've already defeated all of my rivals. I just need to catch a few more Pokemon, and we'll be ready to take on the champion. One kid looks <gasps> like one piece. Oh, I dreamed of this day. Pokeball, go! Oh, no! Oh! Uh oh. Pikachu, get help! <laughs> Team Rocket. Oh no. What are they gonna do? Zubat! Ooh, Zubat! Whoa, Zubat! <laughs> Man, there are a lot of Zubats in here. What kind of trainer would I be if I didn't catch them all? <laughs> well, well, well. No. Where do you think you're going, kid? This is Team Rocket Turf. We're an international crime syndicate that steals Pokemon and- Oh, God, here, take them, take them all. Uh, wow. Usually that's way harder. Thanks, you're a real coward. Oh my God, you can have whatever you want. Please don't kill me. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. No. Oh my, what the shit is that? That's my Burmasaur. He's super rare. I think I caught the first one ever. Pretty sure this is a Bulbasaur with a birth defect. What else does he have? Oh, oh. God, pretty impressive, huh? Why do you have that many Bidoofs in one ball? <laughs> I was out of Pokeballs. I mean, what do you want me to do? Not catch every Bidoof I see? We need to get these guys to a Poke Center right away. <laughs> <laughs> we can heal them. You can heal 
Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been throwing them away. You are a dumb monster. Let's grab his Kakuna and get out of here. No, not Pikachu. Uh. Oh my god, it evolved out of pure happiness the second I touched it. What did you do to this thing? Pikachu, you evolved to save me. Quick, help me out of here. <laughs> oh my face. Oh, it's okay, Beedrill. You're safe now. Come on, let's go set the hospital on fire. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Rusty. Things look bad, but you can do this. <laughs> Dad, can you go pick me up? Snow crash. <laughs> <laughs> For Pete's sake, Rusty, how could you just run off like that? I can take care of myself, Dad. Why are you so worried? There are monsters everywhere, and Professor Tree told us you were dead. Now, as soon as we get home, you're going to give up on your dreams and study for the essay. Daddy, help! Oh. Snorlax. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> came out of nowhere. I know. It must be a sign. I'm destined to catch him and continue my quest. <clears throat> no. Hospital. Please. Well, Team Rocket burned down the only hospital, but I know another place that can heal you. No rusty Oh, God. There's something I gotta take care of first. Can you catch a human or Pokeball? Oh. Now's my chance. <laughs> oh, right. Snorlaxes must be weak against Camrys. Oh, <laughs> I am so great. Okay, then, young man. Here are your Pokemon. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Hey, wait, you forgot one. Definitely did not. Huh. Well, let's see what's inside. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, hey, look at that. My ulcer's gone. Why was he naked? I, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm going to rescue Pikachu from Team Rocket, I'll need some serious equipment. We're talking Ultra Balls, Mega Candies. Buster Sword. Get your customized stationery. Oh my dance force, I'll take all of it. What does it do? You send it to your friends. Uh-huh, yeah, great. Where do I catch friends? Stop on in for all the latest trainer fashion and accessories. Uh, no thanks. I'm rocking the classic red look. You've probably heard of him. He's got two badges. Ugh, those duds are so last gen. It's yeah. all about scarfs and hot pants now. That sounds really dumb. I'll just take a beret for my Snorlax. And this one only works at noon on Sundays. It's called a brunch ball. Wow. <laughs> 50. Holy mill take a bike. That's like an evolution for my feet. Excuse me, Shopkey, I'll take this bicycle, please. That'll be a million dollars. Wow, wee. <laughs> it must be a legendary bike. Well, it is one of a kind. It's uh, reserved for a very special customer. Oh, I'm special. That's me. Do you take Dad's credit cards? <laughs> What's happening? This isn't the time to use that. Whoa, Professor Tree, how can I hear you? Because I'm yelling. Hey, <laughs> did you see this place has a Cinnabon? Awesome. Can't stay and talk, Professor. I'm on my way to save Pikachu. Hi, I'm the guy who's supposed to buy a bicycle filled with weed. Oh, ha. Oh, you were going to think this is real funny. <laughs> I sold it to a child. What? Ha. That is pretty funny, though. <laughs> 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 oh no, they followed my scent! <laughs> Rusty reminds me of Emmett from the Lego movie. No one ever Ah, whooper nuts. A tree. Well, better give up and go home. <laughs> now hold on a minute, youngster! What you need is an HM! They can teach your Pokemon secret moves to overcome obstacles. I've spent 60 years Zoom. trying to find them. Oh, you mean these? Yeah, I bought them at kiosk in the mall. Oh, well, guess I'll just go to the mall then. 60 <laughs> years. Aww, and I know that. just the move to defeat my new rival, this tree. <laughs> All right, Geodude, time to learn strength to <laughs> open wide, Geodude. Oh. Uh. Okay, boy, now throw me over. To victory! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, Pidgey, use fly to carry me over. Or, huh? Oh, 
All right, one of these HMs has to work. Mushroom bug, use flash. No, <laughs> oh, my lines. We're under attack. Go, Badoo. <laughs> Get a Lapras, bro. Okay, Zubat number seven. Time for us to learn how to surf. Oh. Eh, he gets it. Hang ten. Uh. Faster. These HMs aren't working. What would Red do here? My Charizard's flamethrower really cuts through the competition. <gasps> That's it! Yes! Now I can stop Team Rocket and save the world! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Rusty, no. No! Nature is friggin' garbage. No Nature. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Teach me what that is. Yeah, no. I'm an EV trainer, man. It's like a super secret art that's only for true Pokemon masters. Whoa. You must have so many badges. Oh, badges are for scrubs, dude. I play in independent tournaments held in the most exclusive toy stores and middle school gymnasiums. Wow, no wonder your Clefairy looks so buff. Clefairy! <laughs> so bright. Oh, you can't that... teach me. Very well. Sensor First, bar. start your Pokemon on a steady regimen of stat-boosting vitamins. <laughs> Got it! Thanks! Yeah, but those only work for the first 100 EVs! Then you need a Macho Brace, idiot! <laughs> Are you even writing this down, you turn? What does EV stand for? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. EV training, you're sucking the fun out! EV training, you're too old for this exploiting the game! Cause you don't have a lie! Now, you know all of my secrets. Wow! God. None of that sounded like fun. Oh, Pokemon <laughs> isn't about fun. It's about math. Math and winning. <laughs> it's a job you don't get paid for, you friggin' dingus. A job you don't... Wait a minute. That's just school! I didn't become a Pokemon trainer to learn my far-fetched multiplication tables. Well, then I'm afraid you'll never have a Pokemon as cool and strong as mine. Hey, prepare for trouble, you dildos, whatever. Your team Rocket, they're stealing your Pokemon. Peace! Woo! No! Show my hours! Huh, team Rocket. Oh, wait a minute. If I follow Team Rocket, I can rescue Pikachu! See you later, boring guy! Wait, oh, dude, you forgot to rate and subscribe my how-to videos! Rate and subscribe! Aww. Rate and subscribe! Bad marketing. Details. And other news, the forest fire continues to burn on Route 17. Get ready to lose, old man. I'm here to earn my first badge. First, this is Cinnabar Island. Most people have a few badges under their belt before they get here. Why are you wet? I trailed Team Rocket out of the SSN, but I got kicked off because I didn't have a ticket. So I swam after them, but I drowned. Then I woke up on the beach outside your gym and knew that it was my destiny to defeat you, so let's fight! Sure, I kind of have to. It's my job. Ha! I've got just the Pokemon to cool you off. Vanillite, go! You know I'm the fire guy, right? Like, that's my thing, and ice is the opposite of fire. Logic is the rarest candy of all! <laughs> no! That Pokemon cost me like ten dollars! It was gelato! Oh. <laughs> Do you get how these types work now, hmm? Is this making sense, huh? It's pretty simple. Children have figured this out. It's like a basic rock, paper, scissors thing. Never! Get ready. I'm about to be on you like a moth to a flame. Never Oh! Okay, I see. You leave me. <laughs> Cubo, go! Okay, oh, there you go. Yay! Okay, that's a ground type. Ground is strong against fire. Yeah, right, you old idiot. Cubone's a bone type. Dogs have a weakness for bones. No, God jiggly! Yeah, yeah, your Pokemon are like 30 levels below mine. What did you expect? <laughs> Whatever. I don't even like Pokemon anymore. That's so dumb. I hate this. Rusty uses <laughs> defensive line. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, buddy! Hey, you, uh, you left before I could give you uh, your badge! Oh. No, you're lost! Losers don't get badges! They work at their parents' delis until they die! This is a, a special badge. The participation badge! Yep. I want a badge? That is amazing! Now I can stop the rocket and follow my dream! <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll call you a water taxi. Whoa, are those real? <laughs> uh, not in any Pokemon game I've ever played. <laughs> Streamers, Ted. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. But tonight's not about streamers, you dink. It's about the new members of our family. So true. Hey, what's your name again? Russell? Reginald? Uh, I can't read your name tag. It looks like you wrote a bunch of names and then crossed them out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quick question. Where do you guys keep all of your stolen Pokemon? Oh, right down the hall. It's unlocked if you want to go check it out. Aha! I've deceived you. I'm not a Team Rocket recruit at all. Oh, no. I'm a Rusty. Who? You guys stole Pikachu and I'm here to rescue him! Pikachu, go! <laughs> Pikachu, you <laughs> fuck! <laughs> what? No! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we're criminals. Oh god. Uh, what was your plan here? Uh, I was gonna defeat each of you sequentially in Pokemon battles, and then you'd give up, and then give me my Pokemon pack, and maybe like some money or something. Wow, dumb plan. Tony, kill him. <laughs> Pikachu, you've come to save me! Oh, careful. Oh, God, no. Wait, this is your bee drill? That's the most sociopathic, cruel, and hate-filled Pokemon we've ever seen. How did you train such concentrated evil? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Come on, evolve. What does it have to be a sunstone? A trainer as black-hearted as you? Always has a place at Team Rocket. What do you say? Thanks. But I'm not a criminal. Whoa, guys, check this out. His bike's full of drugs. Then you came to the right house. Battle hair! 
Battle Hell. Here in Battlehurst, we've got all the cutting edge new battle styles, except for horde battles, because they're cheap and trubbish. Wow, you're really mad. Yep, mad for portals. Let's go. Coaster battles. Choose your Pokemon. Go. go, Spiro. <laughs> <laughs> Line types are weak Spear against roller coasters. Oh. <laughs> I'll remember this. Stack your mackle! Stack your pony bow together! Then you battle them! I totally understand! Go, Snorlax! Oh! Did I really? Ooh, well, sort of! You lost! Battle battles! We battle ship! Well, our champion block! Wow! Ow! Ow. You too. I need orders! Never got into Yu-Gi-Oh. more necessary than the last. Nope. Only one more. Battle House. Man. Or Beyblade. It's you versus the Battle House. Wait. Uh, listen, kid. This thing cost me millions. I'm in deep to Team Rocket, and their new boss is calling in debts. I need the insurance, or I'm done, Sparse. But Rusty loves Battle House. We've all got our own battles, kid. Besides, don't you want to win a bloody? Great work today, Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh no! Oh god! You're evolving. <laughs> I'm back. Did you gain a level yet? No. You dropped your Bidoof off thirty seconds ago. Also, it was on fire. Yeah. So that horse is on fire. <sighs> That's different, for reasons I cannot explain. What borrow, Gladys? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're that boring EV trainer that learned a lesson. Oh, uh, I'm just here to pick up my Pokemon, and oh, Puff, oh, would you look at that? They're holding an egg. Right again, Julian. Here you go. Oh, yes. After a year of breeding, I finally created another perfect Pokemon. Oh, hold on. You can make Pokemon? Ooh. How? Oh, cool. uh, yeah, it's easy. If you're not a total Charitard, you just take two Pokemon and compatible egg groups. No, 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 no. How do you make a baby? You know, the, uh, Daily Birds and the Combies. Ugh. Lassai. <laughs> <laughs> if I teach you how to breed Pokemon where you stop crying, I want to make a new Pikachu. Great. Pikachu is an electric mouse. Which means he's obviously in the field egg group. No, Pikachu is my Beedrill. He died in a car fire. Wait, so you don't have a Beedrill either? Nope. So what do you have? Badoofs! <laughs> then we shall craft the perfect Badoof. <laughs> As you can see, I've matched my dittos with your Badoofs according to IVs. You should have a shiny Badoof with an adamant nature in just 2,731 <laughs> attempts. And I forgot why we're doing this. Oh, great, Sardius Antlers! My Cleffa has begun to hatch. Why are they breeding dittos? Oh, oh, oh. I shall name her Cleffa Valentine after the woman of my dreams. Cleffa. Yeah, you sure are excited about that buff baby. Whoa! No! All those steps! Look, I told you, this guy makes the best buff fairies! No, I don't want to go back to Team Rocket! Yeah, we don't want to either! You know, ever since the new boss took over, membership's at an all-time high! Quit presenting exposition, Dennis! Grab that sexy baby! <laughs> no, please! I was going to bury her! Oh. When she came of age, of course! <laughs> wow, you really deserve all of this! Bidoof. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Pokemon Tower! I've heard this is the perfect place to catch ghost pokes. Sure is. Ghost this place pokes. is like insanely evil and haunted. <laughs> JK, just have fun. But be careful. You don't want to become a ghost Pokemon yourself. <laughs> it happens. Bye. Um, excuse me, w would anyone mind being captured? You killed me! Who's- oh, oh it's it's bad. Who drowned me? Remember? Hey, Jack! 
Oh yeah, you were terrible at surf. Zubats can't learn surf. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> Bidoof's 1 through 16. I haven't seen you guys since we- you to come here. Oh, no. All the Pokemon whose lives you've ended. Oh, and you wow. came back from beyond just to tell me that I shouldn't feel bad and I should keep training. No, give up. Go home. You were born to work in a deli. You tried to plug me in. What? I clearly am not. I've got a whole jellyfish thing going on. You washed me down the drain. Wow, you're a buddy boy. Let's get you cleaned up and see what's under there. No. But it's a legendary burger. I wasn't. I wasn't a bird. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. You all miss me. Let's get him. <laughs> Stop. Whoa, Grandpa Crispin. But, but you're dead. Oh, right, the ghost thing. I know you're all upset, but Rusty's a good boy. Sure, he's made mistakes, but he's ten. He's barely old enough to smoke. It's our job as denizens of the afterlife to guide him and help him become a better. God, she's got that, really. Wow, a ghost grandpa type. <laughs> I am never going to use this. Come on, documentary. <laughs> Hello? Is this the herb shop? Herb? You in here, buddy? Oh, Rusty. What are you doing here? Professor Tree? I didn't know you were a fan of her. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my friend Nugget runs this place. We're watching a Pokemon nature documentary in the back. Who can I watch? I haven't seen TV in a while because I sleep in the woods. <laughs> oh, no. We only have enough snacks for the two of us. I have nine Pringles. This is Rusty. He bought Pringles. What's up, Pringles? It's starting, bro. Oh, wow. Pokemon. They're all around us. And yet, we know so little about them. Very little. I like that the Mostly graphics are just what they look like. more enhanced. This one, for instance, looks like a human. But it isn't. Man, yeah, that ain't no human. Get him. <laughs> oh. oh. Here we see a rare courtship display between two Pokemon. We'll give the lovers some privacy. These Pokemon are just birds. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, what is up with that? Here are some Pokemon that were scientifically proven to look dumb. Wow, I'm learning a lot, I think. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Police are currently surrounding oh. Meridian City Gym. Citizens are advised to avoid the area at all costs. Oh, thank you, Scott. A gym? That's where badges live. Rusty loves badges! Second badge, here I come! He's right in there. <laughs> no! Not the Pringles! Gotta watch them once you pop. Oh, yeah. Choo choo back of the badge train. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello, unattended child. Do your parents know that you're alone in this very legitimate city full of non criminal enterprises? I haven't seen my parents in months. Now, where's that gym at? The boss's place? Sure, it's right behind that wall of policemen over there. Oh, oh God. Ah, <laughs> uh, son of a fish sharp. They must all be there to get their badges, too. I'll never get in. Mom, we gotta get our stone Pokemon out of this big gym so we can go crying it up elsewhere. Hey, wait a minute. I can use this back door to skip the line. Come on, it's me, Battle Blur. I'll get 
get you the money. I'm good for it. I swore. <laughs> ah. Oh, poor. Wow, you had God. a big week. Oh, uh, boy. Well, you had a we big go. week. He's right, Pikachu. Time to get back on the road. Now hop in this tiny ball and do what I say forever. <laughs> Boom. Boom. It's okay, kid. You're safe now. We've been tracking this crooked pee drill for a while. Although we can't legally prosecute a Pokemon, so we still need to find his master. Oh, that's me, Rusty. I'm Rusty. Oh, great. That was easy. You're going to jail forever. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I'm the hero. I'm a cool trainer. Ooh, nice badges. How do I get one of those? Oh, <laughs> Rusty. It's super effective against Rusty's brain. <laughs> Gonna be the most intense episode. <laughs> hey, yo, Rusty, I haven't had meatloaf this good since I killed my old lady and then went to Ruby Tuesdays to celebrate. Thanks, Hard Rick, but if I wanted to serve bad meat to worse men, Hard I'd have just Rick. stayed at home. I'm destined to become a Pokemon master. Then you should be a chef instead. Oh, or start your own deli. Yeah, Rusty, deli, Rusty, deli, Rusty. Rusty. No, you ding dang dugums don't get it. I hate cold cuts. My dream is to be the world's best trainer. Hey, kid, I hear you looking to do a little Pokemon train. Um, yeah? Didn't you hear my tantrum? <laughs> there I got just the thing for you. <laughs> hey, knife boy, you stab huh. hug. Rusty's confused. Go wet crack. Hit him in the tank. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. Good I dodge. Get a cigarette. If you die, I get two. Ew. At last. You're reunited, father. <gasps> Whoa, a perfect Bidoof. Just like the one on EV Trainer's <laughs> private 18 and up DeviantArt page. It's a sign. I have searched for you for so long, father. Please tell me, what is my purpose? Oh, no. no. My purpose is to beat the Elite Four. Then that is my goal as well. Come, father. Let us become the best, like no one ever was. I'm going to call you Peanut Butter. Come on, Wet Craig, what are you waiting for? Wet Craig is not ready for the outside. Wet Craig needs structure. More murders for us. Thanks, Rusty. Rusty murder. <laughs> Rusty <laughs> murder. <laughs> yes. Rusty, you're my favorite. Excuse me, hi, Rusty here to challenge the Elite Four. I do not have an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> You know you need to collect all the badges first, right, kid? I sure do! <sighs> Peanut butter, come here, boy! Behold, all the badges in Kanto, from any trainers who held them. You only needed eight. <laughs> Why were they covered in blood? I don't know. Peanut butter made me close my eyes pretty much the whole time. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Sonny. My ghost Pokemon are pretty spooky. Mr. R2 is you. Oh, holy shit. What is that? Oh. Rest now, brother. I shall bear this burden. They do. issues other than Pokemon. Oh, you sound like my dad after my grandpa died. Boring. Oh. That was just too cool Pokemon stuff. Well, you do have a scary magic murder Bidoof. <laughs> we should probably update the Pokedex for that. Is it a new legendary? Oh, Dangela, I'm not done. I still need to catch all the legendaries. Come on, PB. I live only to slake your bloodthirst, father. Uh-huh. Oh, can you swing by the Dugons on the way out? I've been eating out of trash cans for a year. <laughs> Someone should probably tell her family. Not it, not it. Not it. Aww. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, peanut butter! It's a legendary! Quick, use, uh, uh, what do you know again? This. Huh.
Cool, I'm totally on board except for the whole working in a deli thing. What else we got? Now, if my calculations are correct, this should only kill one of you. It's like Rick. Deliver this chicken panini to the professor's house, then go to school. It's just down the block from... I know, Mom, but it's literally the only other house in town. God. I want to be the very best. <laughs> Rusty, it's me! Rusty! From the future! Wow, am I a great Pokemon trainer? Yes, absolutely! So good, it's my job to save the world! Wait, can I help? Yup, all you have to do is work in the deli until you die! And that makes me a great trainer? Trust me, I'm us. I wanna make the sandwiches like no one ever was! I did it! And now to get the sandwich to Professor Tree! Which is why we need you to convince your past self to give up on his dreams and work on the deli. Oh yeah, I already did that. Um, what? When? Last time. Wait a minute. Oh, You're no. the Rusty we already sent back in time? Then why are we all still f***ed? Well, I mean, somebody had to become the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. You did everything the same! <laughs> you know, Oregon, I did. Oh. Oh, so, if there was a second Rusty working at the deli, wouldn't that mean your dad wouldn't come to pick you up and then crash in the Snorlax? I mean, that, that seems like pretty lame to <laughs> Oh god, he found us! We're all gonna die! We're all gonna fucking die! Not on Rusty's watch! It's time for me to finally fulfill my destiny! Oh. Curious to see how this pants out. Yeah. What's the conclusion? <laughs> Which is my cute little way of saving dead. Oh shit! I'm pissing. I'm pissing my whole deal. No way, man. Oh. Not like this. Not like this. Oh sweet Georges, he dove Steve. Oh, this can't get any worse. This is one mortal we can't win, Rusty. Tell my wife I said. Blood Oracle. We've been through a lot together. You might not be perfect, but right now you're my only hope. All right, Professor. I'll do my best. Rusty, I need oh. you to light up this huge joint and get me so cheaped on that OG Kush. Uh, hmm. I call it the Undertoker. Spark this and send me to my grave on a cottony cloud of world-class primo mega dank. It is my last request. Whoa, never mind. This is tight. <laughs> Professor, no! Come, Father. At long last, be one with the Doof. Oh God, what's happening to me? I feel bad, as if this is my fault. For the first time, I feel almost not the best. Oh my God, can it be? Rusty learned empathy? I know what I have to do. You literally just tried that. You know what? I'm making your skin a belt. I ring a ding ding. Sorry, your cave doesn't have a doorbell or a door, so I let myself in. Anyway, special delivery for the anti Badoof resistance. Bars? Oh shit, that's the party platter Bart ordered. Honestly, we thought this day was gonna go way differently. <laughs> oh hey, it's future me. Have we fulfilled my destiny yet? No. No. Go back home, Deli Rusty. You're so annoying. Wait. Your bag. It smells delicious. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's the Rusty special. My own recipe. I must have it. Uh. I accept cash, Venmo net, and PayPal patode. This. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. It's so simple yet so elegant. Thank you, good Rusty. You've shown me that there is hope buried inside even the worst of humanity. Oh, snap! He called you the worst of humanity. Yeah, Bert. Come, good Rusty. We shall journey the stars in search of the hope that you have shown me. Oh, sounds neat. Also, I'm bringing this sexy fairy. What? No, come on! Now wait just one worm a damn minute. I want to go on space adventures, too. Worry not, bad Rusty. I have a reward suited to your talents as well. Yeah, can't bust the rust. 
Like it says on the t-shirt, I always wear it in my jacket, canonically. Ready, my sweet sandwich prince? Am I ever? Then we shall depart. And as a token, I shall undo all my doofly deeds. The world shall be as it was. <laughs> all signs of the doofageddon have faded, and Kanto is at peace once more. In other news, a local deli is serving up a customer's call, the perfect sandwich. Stay tuned for more after this. Here you go, sir. One rusty special. Thanks, kid. You really found your potential. Now, where's that wallet of mine? No, oh. my chance. I'm going to be a Pokemon Master. <gasps> oh. Oh, I hate being confined in a small space and forced to take orders. What did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> Behold, Rusty, the galaxy is full of wonders. We forever! Cluffe. <laughs> Genius. This was magical. This was pretty, pretty, pretty magical. This is the greatest thing that's ever gone up on YouTube. It's better than the history of the entire world. Second to history of the entire <laughs> I can actually keep up with this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tells a sensical story by the end. I like these illustrations too at the end. Julia Slaughter, that's a cool name. What is this channel? Dorkly? Dorkly. Dorkly. I have hit the notification bell on them. Oh, look out. I will watch so many <laughs> of their videos now. Yeah, I just spend an hour a day catching up with all their various nerdy series. That was incredible. Let's review it. I thought this was really, really, really well done. It started off in a way where I was like, okay, it's just gonna be a, a bunch of bits. It's gonna be, you know, a bunch of like, ah, we're bunch gonna make fun of Pokemon. Jokey, At first I, I had yeah. to like adjust to it because I was thinking, oh, is this from the actual game and just doing voiceover? And then it didn't take long for me to realize like, oh, wait, no, this is actually all animated. And they, they just did it in the style of how the Pokemon game looks. I wasn't like an avid, you know, Pokemon game player for uh, on Game Boy. Like I played it, but I wasn't like addicted to it. This wasn't really built into like my nostalgia for it because I have the show that I grew up on. That's where my nostalgia for Pokemon comes in. But I thought the animation for it was, it was really, really well done. The commitment to it reminded me of like South Park level of humor. At first it starts off thinking that yeah, it's just a bunch of like random bits, but then really early on I started going, oh wait a minute, I feel like there's gonna be like a character arc here. I feel like there's gonna be a story that's gonna ultimately envelop. adventure. <laughs> I love that element to it, because it easily could have just been something that's, you know, know, parodying Pokemon just for the people that have played the games, as well it has some of those jokes in there, like I love the joke about when they're watching the documentary, like these are just <laughs> birds, you know? Yeah. And they make fun of stuff here and there through, uh, throughout the game, but I think even if you're not into the game, you can still enjoy this like crazy <laughs> adventure and watching this character who doesn't realize how they just keep doing just flat out fucked up things consistently yeah. how it all comes crumbling by the end and, and I love how everything comes back around too I think it's just a story it's really well done I, it's more than just funny to me like, it was kind of I was really impressed with how it all came to uh, an ultimate culmination by the end of it all yeah and it made me really wonder how this uh, show unfolded to begin with because this 
this is a compilation of all the episodes, and at one point they do point out, like, how would any of this time travel stuff work with this horrible continuity? So I almost wonder if they yeah, started yeah. off with just a funny little idea that eventually grew into something much, much bigger, because it's nice that this is totally in the know, but because Rusty is such an idiot, you don't have to be in the know to enjoy it, because it's just about this guy failing yes. upward, and, like, you kind of learn the world in and of itself, and I feel like it rides with a lot of just jokes that you would make if you just heard about Pokemon. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, about like, just like 10 year old kids just like imprisoning these animals <laughs> and like just leaving home and going out into the world and to have them have actual parents and stuff. Well, I love the uh, the effect that it has on everything that goes on. Like, it's, it's like surprisingly character driven and well thought out with the bee drill, how it comes out from being a cocoon. I, I love that joke about it. Yeah, but I didn't even Pikachu. I didn't anyway. Pikachu. Yeah. But how the bee drill becomes this like gym leader monster yeah. and even things that you think are throwaway ultimately come back mm -hmm. uh the, the peanut butter character yeah. you know <laughs> you yeah. think that's just a bit that all right we did that bit now we're over it but it, that even comes back yeah uh this weird reoccurring joke of he's 10 years old he's an adult he's now an you adult. Know? <laughs> he's barely old enough to smoke yeah. yeah i have a very soft spot in my heart for like well thought out stupid stuff yeah and this is kind of a great example of that is like rusty is such an idiot and the fun is watching him fail upward in the most ridiculous yes. ways to have him spawn both the worst possible and arguably like the best possible pokemon in yeah. the course of this is pretty funny it was making me feel like i know they're doing this like pokemon cinematic universe right now after the success of detective pikachu and i wish they would venture into something like this story. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think that would be really cool. A dude who wants nothing more than to be a Pokemon trainer, but is not destined to life be a Pokemon is trainer. He's not pointing him in that direction. <laughs> just ruining everyone's life around him. Because you potted up while we were doing a reaction. It reminds you of like Emmett from the Lego movie. He's just considered a bad guy. He's even called Bad Rusty by the bad end Rusty. of it all. You know? <laughs> this could have just been something that relies on just a bunch of cheap jokes and vulgarity, but it's not. It's more than that. This is an actually really like rich story <laughs> that you get here. Yeah, well, and, and it unfolds in a way that you just don't see coming, and you can feel that sort of, I don't remember exactly who wrote all this, but you can feel that level of, wouldn't it be funny if this happened, then yeah. this happened, then this happened, but it's also very inventive. I mean, I love the way that they realized the animation, too, because I couldn't tell through this if this was based on, I mean, it's obviously based on some of the, you know, video games and whatnot, but I couldn't tell if some of these sets and some of these locations were ripped directly or something like that, because when yeah. I played, you know, a, a Pokemon game like this, it was a little less advanced, but yeah, just seeing them jump between the different, like, I'm gonna name them wrong, but you know, 8, 16 bit, yeah. you know, 32 bit looking animations and stuff. Like when they're watching the nature documentary, the animation is that much nicer, but in a still geometric, blocky kind of way. So yeah, the different earmarks that make this feel weirdly lived in. When it starts out, like, yeah, Professor Tree is smoking a bong in the first episode, but like, as I remember the start of the story, it felt kind of plucky and innocent and then they sl gradually add more and more messed up things to yeah, it. Yeah, you know? because as he becomes bad Rusty, the the feared Rusty, he's he's never intentionally doing any of that. And he's so naive. He's, he's so, so ignorant. Optimistic. He has no idea he, he's doing any of the, to the very end of it all. Yeah. Of like, did I deserve this? But even there's a little bit of an arc where he learns empathy, you know? And I love that too, that he goes back, he does the thing, he realizes the purpose, but then completely undoes it by going, well, someone had to become the best trainer. Still, like, just completely reliving his destiny, <laughs> completely missing the point at all turns. And that's why, I guess, yeah, this this does, I think, a perfect way to describe the sensibility of this is, like, it has that Lego movie sense of deconstructive irony with that South Park sense of wacky base oh, yeah, humor. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know? it's already humor, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, some of the voices very much. Uh, the, the one trainer guy uh, sounded exactly like a South Park character. Yes. With the, the weird, you know, way you pronounce the things. No, the Professor Tree did, too. Yeah, yeah. Professor Tree. All right, well, this came out in uh, 2017. I'm assuming sometime between this man of 2016 to 2017 in total. This is incredible. Thank you guys for putting this together. Thank you, Melvinix, for uh, recommending this. Opening our this. world. You have expounded our minds into something amazing. I am dead tired right now. <laughs> 
yet this was so easy to stay awake for 47 <laughs> minutes for and enjoy this. This is so, the fastest I've finished a series in a long time. Yeah, so. it feels good to complete a whole show. Yeah. So thank you, Melvin X, for being so kind and for being at our Patreon page for such a long time and barely asking for anything in return. You're the best. Guys, make sure to subscribe to Dorkly, subscribe to us, click that notification bell. Uh, we'll catch you guys soon. This was awesome. Thank you. I choose you, Jews.